When we look at the Grand Canyon we see a monument of geology, a story told in rock and time, but it is also a vast vertical graveyard, a place where the history of life itself is etched into the stone. In the upper layers, like the Kaibab limestone that forms the canyon's rim, you can find the fossilized remains of marine creatures, sponges, corals, and brachiopods. As you descend through the layers, you travel further back in time. In the Bright Angel Shale you can find an abundance of trilobites, those iconic armored arthropods that crawled across the seabed more than 500 million years ago. But perhaps the most surprising fossils are the tracks left behind. In the Coconino Sandstone, a layer representing an ancient desert of sweeping sand dunes, paleontologists have discovered fossilized footprints. These are not the tracks of dinosaurs, which had not yet evolved, but of early reptiles. The Grand Canyon is not just a record of rocks but a ladder of life, the canyon is a silent witness, and its fossils are its voice, speaking to us from the depths of deep time.